This video will show you how to create the second type of roof support for your log cabin. Begin by opening a new part document. Right click on the front plane and choose Sketch. Then in the Sketch tab, select the Center Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle starting at the origin. Click on Smart Dimension to give the vertical edge a dimension of 90. Click on the horizontal edge and give this a dimension of 100. Click OK. Then exit the sketch. Go to the Features tab and click on Extrude Bar Space. Choose Midplane for the end condition and give it a depth of 20. Click OK. Right click on Material and choose Edit Material. Scroll down to select Oak. Click on Apply and then close this window. Go to the front view. Right click on the surface and click on Sketch. In the Sketch tab, choose the corner rectangle. Click on the bottom right corner and draw a rectangle as shown. Click on Smart Dimension and give it a horizontal length of 20. Click on a vertical edge and give it a length of 15. Click OK and go to the Features tab. Pick the Extruded Cut option and choose Through All for the end condition. Click OK. Then right click on the surface, click Sketch and in the Sketch tab choose Corner Rectangle and draw a rectangle starting from the right edge as shown. Click on Smart Dimension and click on the bottom edge and the top edge of the cut extrude. Give this a dimension of 10. Click on the vertical edge and give it a dimension of 10 as well. Click on the top edge and give this a dimension of 20. Exit the sketch and go into the Features tab. Click on Extruded Cut and change the end condition to Through All. Then click OK. Pick Linear Pattern. For the direction, click on this edge. Change the spacing to 20. Change the number of instances to 2 and click OK. Right click on the front surface and click on Sketch. Then go to the Sketch tab and choose the Line tool. Draw the triangle as shown. Click on Smart Dimension and click on the hypotenuse of the triangle and the top edge. Give this a dimension of 30 degrees. Click OK. Control click on this corner of the rectangle and the origin. Give them a vertical relationship and then exit the sketch. In the Features tab, click on Extruded Cut. Choose Through All for the end condition and then click OK. Change your orientation as shown. Click on this surface and click on Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and choose the Circle tool. Draw a circle as shown and give it a dimension of 5. Click on the center of the circle and this edge and give this a dimension of 9. Then right click and choose select to get out of smart dimension. 
pick a center line tool and draw a center line as shown. Exit out of the center line tool. Give the center line a horizontal relation. Then, while holding control, click on the point at the top of the center line and this edge and choose midpoint. Click OK and exit the sketch. In the Features tab, click on Extruded Cut and give this a depth of 5. Click OK. Add a linear pattern feature. For the direction, click on this edge. You might need to flip this direction by clicking on this arrow. Give it a spacing of 28 and then click OK. Go to the bottom view. Right click on this surface and pick sketch. Go to the sketch tab and click on the circle tool. Draw a circle as shown. Click on smart dimension and give this circle a diameter of 5. Pick the center line tool and click on this corner and this corner to create a diagonal center line. Exit out of the center line tool. While holding control, click on the middle of the circle and the center line and choose the midpoint relation. Then, in the features tab, click on extruded cut and choose through all for the end condition. Change the orientation of the model as shown. Click on the mirror feature. Expand this tree. Choose the right plane for the plane to mirror about. And for the features to mirror, pick everything you have created after the first boss extrude. Then click OK. You are now finished with this part, so save this.